calendars. I have a lot of them. Personal life, this YouTube channel, my freelance work, shared calendars from other work jobs. Yep, time to simplify. The weekly schedule. How to have a weekly planner and schedule out your week in Notion. A lot of us have been grappling with this recently and it's been a question that keeps coming up from you guys in the comments on this channel. Well, here's my solution to managing everything in Notion. Quickly populating a Notion calendar view with recurring tasks and integrating Google Calendar to effectively manage my to-do list, scheduled meetings and weekly time boxing all in one dashboard view. This is how to manage your time better three. Hi everyone, welcome to Better Creating. If you're new to the channel, my name is Simon. I make videos about productivity, intentional living, creating better content. It's all about simplifying creative life. And as a freelancer in film and theatre, that can get very complicated. Thank you very much to everyone that's been downloading the uh, new templates that I've made available on the website. Check those out, particularly the journaling one if you haven't seen it. I'm really pleased with that and it seems to be going down well, so that's good. Now today, the weekly schedule. A lot of you have been asking me about it. I want to show you how I'm managing it. This is my new approach to managing recurring tasks and generating those into your Notion system at the same time as aligning it with this rather cool approach to integrating a Google Calendar into it. Uh, Notion doesn't actually have an API that allows calendar integrations as yet. When they offer that, it's gonna change everything. But right now, I've minimized the friction and the effort you have to make in order to do this. Schedule your week and make sure appointments and all of your life aligns with your task management system. Come and check it out. Let's get on the computer. I'll show you how I've built it, how you can add it to your system and a couple of hacks for time boxing on Notion. Let's go. Right, welcome to the computer. Uh, here is the view of my home screen. If you have seen this before, this is gonna be super quick. You'll see here I've got a task inbox which uh, drops them into the action system the moment you add it to a related project. Down here, the, the green section is action. So we'll have uh, my practices which are kind of habit tracking and I just keep my daily things in there. This was all built in another video and this would be one way of tracking that you're getting stuff done. The action today, this is everything I need to get done. All I need to get done today is film the video, that's good. And then this is all the tasks for the next seven days filtered from my task list. Uh, more on that in how to manage your time if you haven't seen how to build all of this. This is the bit I wanna show you, weekly planner. I have a task calendar. This is a calendar view of all the tasks you've seen above and you'll see that it, it drops them into each day. Now what I love about this is if I go, oh, I didn't, I didn't manage to get this filming done, I'm gonna do that on Saturday, I can just move it and, it and that's the quickest way to manage it. I can click done in the box when I'm finished. If we click on the drop down for weekly schedule, my weekly planner, and I put my weekly planner in my Google Calendar. Uh, the one thing that it doesn't allow you to do if I click on it is edit it. It will show you the information, but it won't allow you to actually edit it. But there's a really simple workaround to that. I've put a link that just goes straight to Google Calendar. I can update it. I can then actually do command tab and go come straight back to the view. The reason this is so useful is it can align with my workstation. So I can actually work from within Notion. I can go, where are we today? There's the line, I'm filming, great, then I've got a lunch break and I'll start editing. My process for managing my week is kind of threefold. The first one is that on a Friday, I will do a weekly review and that will work using my weekly review template. Check out the video on that, how to manage your time too, uh, if you want to see how to build it. It's my project database and it will. there's a formula in there that will mean that it will return a project when it's due to re for review whenever I've set that. So if I click on better creating, you'll see the review frequencies every seven days and I last reviewed it on the 10th of March. So in order to do that, what I would do is I look through the project database, I can look over a, a copy of my to-do list for the project, move things forward, set them to different times, um, I can look at the notes, everything is linked together. So I will work through the project, once I've done it, I will say it was last reviewed, I'm going to set it to Friday because I normally do it on Friday, it will remove it from the list. Now that process would set everything that needs to get done. The second stage is I can come up to here and then look at where work needs to be done. If I want to generate new tasks for the month, recurring tasks, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, and over here, um, I can then actually time box my week. 
You'll notice these widgets here can also be solved with the solution I'm gonna show you because Google Calendar integration on Notion happens through Indify. Uh, you sign up for this, um, you create an account really simply and uh, you can link it to your Google uh, account if you want to do that. This is my weekly planner, but also this is where I created my weather um, widget and my um, clock widget and that's what was on my home screen. This is the weekly planner, if I click onto it, if for example within Google you want to just divide it up between multiple calendars for different things, you could do that and then display it through this. But I found actually on the free version, it's plenty just to create what is your weekly schedule, color code it in Google and put it in here. That does the job really beautifully. You can work out when the week starts, uh, you can set the color whether it's dark mode or not, and then you just literally copy the link, go to Notion, and if I was to paste this in below, create embed, uh, stretch it to the size and scale that you want. Uh, you've got a month view in there, you've got a day view, uh, the agenda view is quite nice, and I think that the kind of uh, actual kind of presentation of this is really lovely. In fact, look, you can embed it twice and have both views. And of course, you can also set what the primary view is. So this one I could set to week, for example. If I go back to Indify, for the, if I wanted one just to be about having an agenda as well, I could set the default view here to agenda. Copy the link again, replace this look, chain go to here, replace, embed. I might keep that there, I think that's rather good. So if you want to try out Indify, go check it out. It's free, that service. Now the one caveat to this is that in order to set up the Google Calendar, if we set up a new one, if I create a widget, you would need to sign in with Google and then it will just automatically link it to the calendar you want to link it to. But if you do that, uh, you are sharing your details with Indify. It doesn't make it public, you can keep it private, but Indify will get it. I think they're a good company. This is up to you though, you have to make a call as to whether you want to share that information with them. Brilliant system though, really love it. And they've got loads of other things in here like progress bars, you can put quotes in. I've even linked my calendar to the Calendly booking system. And I can see things like this, a meeting, turn up with all the information that I need within it. It can just really add value and a quality of interaction with your Notion system. Time boxing is one of the best things you can do to manage your time over a week. Now, I used to do this uh, doing it like this. It's a simple box. I just um, set up a database, drop in at half hour points, and then create Monday to Sunday, and then under each, create options for what you place in. Now this is a really good manual way to do it, but to be honest, it's not linking into my calendars and it's not linking into my tasks. And as such, it was just taking up too much time for me. So the approach I took, which has really made it work, is linking this Indify calendar uh, into my home screen. I think that what's important with this is that is to keep it simple. In my Google Calendar, I've got this to generate the next week, so it will just repeat this basic format. And what I love about this is I can, I can let this just keep going for months and it will just be there. When I do a weekly review on a Friday, I can plan out the week. I can just go, actually, I don't want to get the filming done on Tuesday, I want to do it on Monday. And I could just move that around and say, just this event, and it will, will be placed there. And it allows me to set out the week really simply. And what I found is that I will put in specific things, like I had a workshop on Romeo and Juliet I had to run on Monday, so I'll drop those in. Uh, but then I just got things like deep work session. It might be that within on the Thursday, um, I wanna finish this habit tracker. So I'll go, right, that's what that's gonna be. Yeah, I can just click to the calendar, and on the day that it says deep work, I can just edit this very quickly and call this save it and, it and I can just adjust this event, not the following ones, and then it will update in my home screen. You can just click on the toggle, reload it. That's what's cool about using a toggle to place it in and I will see the updated version. This is a really great way to manage your time, be able to easily um, jump between the two uh, and edit it when you need to, but also have it all in a view. I thoroughly recommend it. Let's now move on to generating recurring tasks. My previous video, a lot of people love that approach and you should check it out on recurring tasks, which will generate a task and then a next due. So when you finished it, rather than ticking done, you would change the, um, the due date uh, to the next due date and then it would move it forward in the calendar, but you won't have it populating. This is the solution to populate and actually I'm much preferring it and I'm gonna stick with it. I have this template button. If I go into this template button to edit it, uh, this is forward slash template button and then you create it and, and, and 
populate it with what you want. I have a collection of film videos, published videos and weekly reviews and one monthly reflection, for example. They're all the same and I have copied them and named them so they're all the same so that when I click this button they will all drop down below. Now the way to make those is I would come into here and create a new task, create it all as I need to create it and open the uh, generate section and then just drag the new task into here and it means that every time that I generate it that task will be generated. If I wanted to make several of them I can click on that task and I can click duplicate and you'll have another version. Quite good to call them untitled or, or just to have copy of and then rename them. I'm gonna delete that because I don't need those. You can obviously make them monthly and I've just done, done that and put in a monthly button on it. So let's say that's a month's worth of recurring tasks. If I now just click this button, it's gonna generate all of the um, tasks. There they all are. And then simply what you do at the start of each month is drop these in. So I'm going to take my film video and drop it into there. I'm going to take the next one and drop it in. So when it, whatever day it is that I choose to film videos, I normally do it on a Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to drop these in. I can skip on to April to add the next ones. And then my weekly reviews are on Fridays. So I'm going to drop the weekly reviews in on Fridays. I'm going to put that there. Now that's the quickest way that I've found to populate a calendar. And so you can plan ahead a little bit more effectively because you can see what is there and actually go, oh, publishing video on a Thursday, I'm not going to do that this week, I'll just move it over and you're not messing with things. And of course they will all show up uh, in these views as well for each day so you can just work from the list as you always have if you've built this system with me. A really brilliant way to be able to have a, a view of your day, a view of the week and plan things. So each evening it might be that I'm just going to sit down, go and look at the inbox that they put into the system for one-off tasks or make them recurring if I want to and then of course I can look at the next day. You could even if you wanted create a priority um, ordering list within this so that um, you sort it by that priority and then it would list them in the order that you want to get them done. But to be honest, I much prefer to keep things simple, work from this planner, and then use the tasks as they are. Great. So get time boxing and let me know how it goes. And if you found this valuable, please hit the like button. It's the best thing you can do to support the channel and get this to reach other people that might find it useful. Subscribe if you're not already. Loads more coming up on the channel around iPad productivity, creating content, some setups for doing that, and more Notion hacks. Good, get outside, enjoy the fresh air. I'll see you in the next video.